All right, dudes. The rat rod's done. We've been working on it. Project's all done. We're going for a drive. Uh, I haven't been filming it because it's just been doing so much work to it. So I'm just going to uh, get in and start it up and I'm going to leave. I got to go that way though. Yeah. Okay, that was a joke. A really bad one. A really bad one. But this video is going to be a little different. No, this is not done. It's not, not even... Uh, it's not even... It's not even close to done. But, have been working on another type of project. A customer's project. And I'm really excited to show you. So it's right out here. So I'm gonna put you guys down. I'm gonna set you up for a specific angle that'll show off this build. I'm excited about this one, guys. We've been working on it night and day. Every little detail is perfect on this thing. Let me show you, let me show you, let me show you. It's right over here, let me show you. Now, if you have a keen ear, you've guessed it. It's a 392 and it is beautiful. Let me show you around. And this thing is amazing. So what we've done is we did a bumper end cap removal. We wired in these uh, auxiliary off-road lights. And then, as you can tell, we've of course gone with a set of Nemesis flares. And these flares are gorgeous on the JL. I love the little accent piece here. You can see the craftsmanship of the Nemesis all TIG welded, all of this water jet logo. You can actually backlight these, which is really cool. And then, of course we did it on the rear. And these are, the ones we really like are the dovetail because it sucks in here closer to the body. So if a rock comes up, you have a lot more protection in close. It's not sticking out so much. And then to accompany those fenders, we did the Nemesis inner fenders. Hopefully you guys can see those. These are all matte black. These fit really nice. The front is really cool. Now these fronts are a little different than most because these are for the 392. So a little bit more room in the engine bay but I love these cutouts right here to give you some cooling. Just beautiful. And you can get these to fit the uh, Terraflex Falcon shock as well, but just the craftsmanship on these guys, all TIG welded. This is a two piece design up front and a one piece design out back. And most inner fenders are not even close to these. So those look awesome. I'm really stoked on those. Now, one of the other really cool things we did is we added the rock slide engineering rock sliders with built-in side step. Now, let me set you guys down, show you how cool these things are. Because these are sweet. Now, we've all seen a rock slider. You know, it's usually a heavy piece of steel that can take a hit from a rock. And we've all seen a sidestep, usually a overpriced piece of electronics that comes on like a factory car or whatever. And if you hit a rock with those things, they're done. So this is the best of both worlds. Walk up, open the door, step comes down, boom, you're in. By the way, check out the freshness. Close the door. Back up. And you're ready to go rock crawling. The other cool thing is you can go inside and these come with a little switch right inside here. I don't know if you can see it there. 
you can turn these off. So when you're off-roading and you don't want them to go up and down, say, you know, if you're on a rock or whatever, um, and they would come down and bash on a rock, that would be really bad. So you can turn them off so they don't come off. The other great thing I really like about these is they protect the fender flare. So if you're coming along and a rock's real close like this, boom, hits the fender flare, you're toast. The Nemesis ones actually go like right to the flare and they fit perfect. These ones stick out a little bit, which is actually kind of nice because they're at a bit of an angle to help you get around stuff and help you push around this back tire. So really, really nice steps. I was really taken back by how easy these went on, how nice they are, and the quality is just unbelievable. So yeah, guys, that is this 392 build. I'll give you a little bit more of a walk around yeah. here. Look, tell me what's the vibes, what's the mood? Yeah, I just hit a mic key for the juice. Yeah, ain't no captain, I'ma tell the truth. I've been winning for so long, it's hard to lose. Yeah, deal, be my source. Uh, Christian, like the York. Yeah, I can't stop when I'm far, I just get back up. Yeah, I've been quiet all along on my TV toes. Yeah, I can't keep it to myself. Customer that's been with us for a while. He's an awesome guy. His name is Mike. Uh, 392 Mike on Instagram. Check this thing out on the trails. He's always he's always out using it and stuff. I think next uh, we got to put some bigger tires on here. So I'm gonna get Mike to to get a lift and some dirty sevens. I think would be perfect on this. Maybe even maybe even dirty eights. I don't know. See where he's at. But throw some dirty lifes and some dirty eights. This thing is gonna be a boost. It's gonna be a boost. All right, boys. Until the next one keep going keep doing keep building cool stuff so yeah more more customer builds like this coming I actually have another one coming next week I'll work it into uh, the channel at some point in time but thank you guys thank you for subscribing thank you for supporting a local business that's trying to support the local off-road community so shout out to you guys I just told my sins, yeah, I'm no true, yeah. stay in your lane don't you pick and choose